Then we stroll from wherever the hell Prince Eric lives to France, home of Belle's Village. There's Bonjour Gifts, which is supposed to look like the bookshop, but has a depressing lack of books. But hey, it's about time somebody thought of putting a gift shop in a theme park. Then there's Gaston's Tavern, a quick service restaurant modeled after the home of the funniest villain song to ever not be part of the South Park movie. And outside the tavern is a statue of Gaston donated by Gaston. And Gaston himself is there doing meet and greets. Gaston, a quick, a quick word for your adoring fans. What can I say, really? I adore all of my fans. I can only do the, all, I, I do my best for them. This is why I'm here. I can't, I can't help but notice that your tavern doesn't have a lot of alcohol in it. No, it doesn't. You don't need it. You're just, you're cool enough without it. You don't need alcohol to be cool, kids. There's plenty of antlers inside and a dartboard. You do use antlers in all of your all decorating. All of my decorating. And I'm especially good at expectorating. Just go check out, check that out inside. But do try the brew. All right, we're about to try Le Fou's brew, which is apple juice with toasted marshmallow and like mango fashion something. It's some mixture of fruits. Apparently they just, uh, they have a similar drink over at Cars Land, but this one is themed after a better movie, so let's see. Mostly just tastes like frozen apple juice. When you get to the top, you can taste like the mango stuff. It's no butter beer, but it's not bad. It's a little touch that not a lot of people will notice, but I really like how the ambient music from this area includes instrumentals of songs from both the movie and the Broadway show. I don't think many of the guests will recognize the melody from A Change in Me or Gaston's song that was just called me, but I got a kick out of it. But we're not done with Beauty and the Beast yet, because next is the BR Guest Restaurant, located in Beast Castle. Huh. Maurice really got lost outside Beast Castle? How? He can see the castle from his house. Belle must have walked right past the entrance every day on her way to town. Maurice must have really been going in circles. This map is only five years old. Toontown Fair must still be around here somewhere. Now when I went, Be Our Guest wasn't open for business yet, but we got to peek inside the main ballroom and it's quite gorgeous. And unlike the tavern, this actually will have alcohol. With the dinner service, but not with lunch since it's quick service by day. Which is odd to me. Why not just make it full service the whole time? It's not like there's a total lack of quick service restaurants in Fantasyland. Eh, whatever, I'm more excited about the atmosphere than the menu anyway. 